Hey guys, welcome to the Bourboneering YouTube channel. I'm your host, Austin. Let's get started. So today is a follow-up from last week's video. I'll be making the same old fashion I made last week. So if you haven't seen last week's video, check it out. I'll link it below. Uh, but instead of using my Demerara simple syrup, I'm using this low-carb Swerve Brown Sugar simple syrup. And that's basically just the Swerve Brown Sugar. It's a local company to where I am. I believe it's located out in New Orleans, but somewhere in Louisiana. And it's uh, erythritol sugar substitute. Uh, you see it's got a nice brown color. I don't know what that flavoring is, but we're about to find out. I don't expect this to be just as good as a regular sugar simple syrup, but I hope it's close. And the whole point of this is to compare the differences and to see how I can elevate it and still make it lower carb for the people who are doing low carb, keto, things like that. Um, but this recipe for this simple syrup is uh, from the low carb cocktail guy, Frank. He, I'll link his channel down below and I'll link the video, the specific video where he talks about this down below. He is the master of low carb cocktails. He is a master of cocktails in general, at least locally to me, but he is a master of low carb cocktails. This recipe for him, and it, I think I messed this recipe up. It's not because of what I did, it's because I went off his recipe is the issue. So definitely follow his recipe, check him out. He's got everything you need low carb cocktail wise. Uh, I'm hopefully going to be uh, help, uh, collaborating with him in the future, talking about more whiskey on his channel, and hopefully he'll come on mine and talk a little bit more cocktails. So without further ado, let's get started. Same recipe as last time. I'm going to be quick. I talked about this whiskey. I talked about these bitters, but uh, one stipulation, this is not going to be that low carb. It's going to be lower carb. But I'm still going to use the cherry. That's because my last episode I used the cherry for my go-to old-fashioned. I'm going to use it again because I want it to be as close as possible. Now, if I was really doing it scientifically and I might do this off-camera, I would leave the cherry out for both just because it adds a little bit extra sugar. But just for video purposes, I'm adding that. Just please note that is not low-carb. I would leave that out if you're really trying for a low-carb diet. So... Without further ado, let's go. Starting with my bitters again, uh, three dashes of each. Starting with my chicory. Now, chicory, I think it's a root. Uh, it's often, it was, so, it's origin. It can be made like coffee. It can be brewed like coffee. It's almost like a coffee substitute. In fact, they use it as a coffee substitute during, I believe, World War II when coffee was being rationed. Uh, and now it's popular in New Orleans to have a 50-50 coffee and chicory or at least a little bit of chicory in your coffee for a New Orleans style roast. So that's a little background. <sighs> I forgot my jigger. Hold please. All right guys, I'm back. Got my jigger. Sorry about that. Uh, so about the syrup, I don't think I dissolved it well. Uh, I shook it up, but there was a little bit of sediment at the bottom. Now I know erythritol, if you just do one to one, uh, water to erythritol, it tends to crystallize. So this isn't crystallized, it just wasn't fully dissolved, and I think that's my fault. But we're gonna try it anyway. I'm gonna take it with a grain of salt or a grain of sugar and uh, go from there. So I'm half an ounce, like usual. Now, this is two and a half to one ratio, so two and a half uh, units of water to one unit of the uh, sugar by volume, not by weight. So if you're using cups, it'd be two and a half cups to one. I use uh, just under half a cup to two cups of water. Um, so that's what I used here. Now let's get add my whiskey. Again, three ounces of whiskey. This is Bellmead Reserve Cast Strength. One ounce. And Two ounces make three. A little bit messy, sorry about that. Again, it's frozen solid, so hopefully this will dissolve well. Please ignore my dog in the background. Here we go. I believe there's a delivery man here. All right, let's pour it. Make a huge mess. It looks good. It looks very similar. I mean, you can see the syrup. It doesn't seem like there's any sediment in here. I don't know, but let's add my cherry and find out. Let's go. Yo, I'm sorry about the dog. I'm uh, running out of 
room to re-record, so this is actually my second take on this one. It's been a day. All right, give that a quick little mix, a little bit of, just a little bit of cherry juice in there. Let's go try. Right away on the nose, there's not much difference. It looks a little, it looks a little thicker just in general. Mmm. Mmm. So erythritol is known to have a cooling effect, almost like a mint, but not the flavor of mint, but like the cooling. I definitely get that. But as far as flavor goes, I can't hardly tell a difference. It's a little more maple-like, which is interesting, than uh, the, the regular Demerara. It's almost, yes, yeah, it has a little maple flavor to it. Mmm. Hmm. Yeah, other than that cooling effect, a little different mouthfeel and a little bit of a maple flavor, it's delicious. I mean, I'll take that, I'll drink that all day, keep it low carb. I mean, minus the cherry juice, there's zero net carbs in that. There shouldn't be any carbs in our whiskey. Zero carbs in these bitters. Five calories uh, per two dashes, zero carb. I mean, this would be a zero carb cocktail if I took out the cherry. Man, that's fantastic. Zero net carbs cocktail. Mmm. Mm-hmm. It's a definitely a different flavor from Demerara and for sure a different mouthfeel. But it's delicious. It tastes like brown sugar. That's super weird. The maple flavor. I'm going to play around with that. I have a maple uh, barrel finished whiskey. I'm gonna play around with that. That's awesome. Thanks, Frank Low Carb Cocktail Guy, for the recipe. Y'all definitely go check him out. Even if you're not doing a low carb diet, check out his tips and tricks and his cocktail recipes. If you want to, you can make them full sugar, but they're they're great without any of the carbs and anything like that. So check him out. Remember, if you're interested, uh, join me on Patreon. Of course, if you like this video, give it a like, give it a thumbs up, and subscribe to my channel. I got some awesome cocktail videos. I got a podcast. Um, that's really, you know, my baseline. I do a podcast every Friday, so check that out wherever you get podcasts. That's all I got, y'all. Thank you. Cheers.